better. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to share some insights of a, a large project um, of us. This is not just a typical typical community. Um, it's a real uh, event, uh, a planned event, an expensive event. <laughs> Uh, there's a work of almost a year in there because uh, we had the break of the first Corona lockdown and the uh, Kurzarbeit in between and um, we had to change at the time of um, the project. So um, it took us quite a couple of months um, to bring this uh, on the road. And um, the idea behind Wisdom of the Crowd is, as you uh, might have an idea because of the title, <laughs> Uh, to bring um, all the wisdom and all the knowledge that's in the company to kind of bring it together. And um, as you know, the uh, former Corporate Academy is, um, we are bringing uh, learning products um, to the whole company. Um, and um, we have also a um, well leadership change, cultural leadership change initiative uh, that's called Leadership 2020 and now Leadership 20X. Um, the idea is the transformation of leadership culture in the whole company. And uh, we thought, well, um, might be not the best idea that all the, the information, all the input and all the uh, content is always coming from us. Why don't we use uh, all the knowledge and all the experience that's out there in the company, in the whole world, and to bring them together. And that was the first idea we had already in 2019 and I uh, wanted to start with the project in um, uh, May 2020, but then um, we had to skip the day due to Corona and um, uh, at the end, our wisdom of the crowd took place in um, November, October, November um, 2020. Um, yeah, Katosh, anything um, I forgot about the basics before no, I get perfect. into deep dive? I will interrupt. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe because uh, Sophia um, is the third uh, real party um, of this project. It's um, not only a project from one or two uh, people, but we had a whole project group uh, working on this. And um, there were um, a core team of uh, five or six people from the company. And uh, we had a one partner agency who are experts in uh, community management. Um, and um, we developed this, uh, this concept together and then had the run of the project together. Okay. So um, what is Wisdom of the Crowd? Um, we gave it the, the name Mood. You may uh, all know uh, MOOCs, uh, Massive Open Online Courses. Um, we did this uh, twice already for the company and our decision was not to do another MOOC, um, just give content, but to get in dialogue um, with all the people out there. Um, so this is why this uh, community idea is a base um, basic idea of this and um, so this is our uh, why uh, how and what um, slide um, why we did this it's as I said it's a cultural idea we are in the middle of a transformation um, in the automotive world but in the leadership world in the working world as well so there are many transformations going on and uh, we have to think um, how we adapt our leadership and our work um, to uh, a new cultural or new cultural situation. Um, our idea was to bring leaders uh, all over the world and uh, leadership 20x ambassadors. These are people who are very active in this cultural transition initiative for a couple of years uh, all over the company, bring them together and what's all new about this idea is we're using our social intranet. It's based on Jive um, for this program. And actually, this has never done before in our company because uh, the social intranet is in, um, besides the, the beta version, 
only working for the whole company for maybe two years. I don't know, Akim, you might uh, know it better. I would say it is for two years. It's, mm -hmm. um, we started the pilot in mid-17, uh, so yeah, officially the pilot, the started beta at version, 17. Yeah, mm -hmm. but for, for the whole company, we might have it for two years. And um, of course, we use it as a social intranet, um, but most of it we are posting uh, contents. And we said, no, um, we don't want to use a different platform. Our massive open online courses in the years before, um, we used an external platform. And uh, we said, no, it's not only cost uh, reasons, but this, we have a very good tool. And our uh, goal is not delivering content, but to bring people in a dialogue together. And why don't we use the tool we have? So that's why. Um, We've chosen our social internet. Um, due to this, we had some concept restrictions because we could not write the concept and then look for a tool, what we sometimes do for very large projects like this. Um, so we said, no, we have a tool and then um, we see how um, we can write a concept around this and, and find the very best way to uh, get our leaders uh, in contact with each other. Okay, so this is now our uh, flow. Um, that's um, the overview of our concept. Uh, we had four weeks of, of the run of the real wisdom of the crowd. So the project work uh, was several months before and um, as we have a very uh, large number of participants, we had to skip this very short notice before the event, but we've planned with um, 30,000 um, participants. participants. And that's why we had a test week. Uh, so this is what you can see here on uh, week zero. And um, because never been used before the intranet uh, to um, an event like this. We said, no, we need technical testing and we have to see um, if everything is running well. Um, we started in phase one and um, we started in a very, very low entry level with uh, three, I can show you this, uh, show you this in a minute, very three easy entry questions. Um, because um, you as community manager, managers know that um, they're not only digital natives out there <laughs> and those from um, more traditional industrial companies um, know this that many of our leaders um, are very in a very large scale of uh, knowledge. So some of them are very, very clever and use it, use all tools. Um, like digital natives um, and some um, are quite critical. And so we started um, on the very easy with a warm up phase. And our um, main part of the project was your phase two, where we had um, some contents and um, main questions to start a discussion. Um, and at the end of the week, uh, we bring um, had all the comments and main comments and we screened everything that was produced uh, on comments and uh, contents in this week um, and found I think it were 10 or 15 um, well statements or ideas for changing and uh, giving more speed into the transformation. And then we gave the whole community the chance for a voting and um, to bring this um, event to, an, to a nice ending. Okay. Patosh, any additions or uh, Sophia? No. Yes. Okay. You There's just said you just interrupt me. Then. Mm -hmm. yes. something. Okay, now you can see uh, this is just a screenshot of um, the social internet. It's not really a super sexy tool for an um, <laughs> uh, online event like this. And we had quite some trouble with the tool mm -hmm. making it look um, like... Attractive. <laughs> attractive. <laughs> 
Um, yes, somehow it was restricted for us, the social mm -hmm. intranet platform. That's right. So as Nicole already told you that we had to adapt the content to the social intranet and not the content to the platform, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, and we have had to find some workarounds um, to use the intranet like we wanted to have it so it should look like very nicely, but uh, not too many content in there, but still everything that you need for a large number of participants like you. You need always lead an FAQ button or an FAQ area because you have um, many people who have never done the course like this. Um, yeah, but still you need uh, some a very easy um, easy structure to, to have on one uh, view um, so the, the participant can see on the one view what's what's happening there and what can I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so we started with this first question and we had polls uh, behind there. You can see it on, on, on the right on the screenshot here in the lower picture and um, they were they, they sound very um, easy and um, but we had uh, high click rates on that uh, questions and um, we've asked what uh, leadership topic is most relevant and what drives our company and uh, which behavior helped most we've changed this uh, question um, on a short notice because uh, corona changed our whole concept as well um, so um, we had at the end the question was which leadership principle is the most relevant in these times and um, we have in our company we have a leadership principle so we've asked for this uh, principle Hi, are you still there or is it just me? No. I can't hear you, Nicole. Hello. You lost. I think she's muted. That's true. Maybe sh there was an interception by okay, the account you hear me holder. Now? No. Yep. Do you hear me now? Yes. 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 That's strange. We cannot see the slides. You cannot. Mm -hmm. We see your desktop now. OK, perfect. OK, it's strange because I didn't tell click anything. OK. Now am I back? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I thought a cat had jumped on your keyboard. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, now we were here on um, the, the first phase and our three starting questions and then we had to, the second week was our main uh, week. Now, of course you see yourself twice. Um, so this was uh, the week where we have talking about content um, for different contents and as you can see there are contents that are relevant in every company in this time uh, um, everybody who's uh, working in an in industrial company in, in Germany especially is in a transformation time all leaders in all companies have to talk about strategy or cooperation and um, the new normal so this is uh, not very special, but it uh, gave our leaders the possibility to share experiences and um, to discuss. Um, and we gave them some provoking questions as a start. So they were like a, a snowball was the idea. We give them a little snowball and the ball is running and running and keeps bigger and the um, discussion um, is moving by itself. OK. Yeah, this is do you uh, have a do you have an example, uh, Nicole, for a snowball <laughs> question? Um, 
actually. Um, Don't what worry. Do do? No, no, no. I, yeah, I'm. I'm like, looking for the, the uh -huh. thing is basically we would love to share the platform, but yeah. due to data protection policy, yeah. <laughs> we can't like like just share the the platforms. I will uh, the discussion. Okay, what the what, strategy and culture? The first question was: Do strategy and culture go hand in hand? Um, and then we had an intro text uh, to mm. to like um, does our ec uh, actual culture support our strategy and the transformation ahead of us, or which elements of our culture are most important um, to make our strategy work? Um, tell us your opinion and comment below to start the conversation or join an already started discussion. So that was the the kickoff of this uh, discussion pillar. So of the speak. strategy, yeah, because the idea was uh, culture eats strategy for breakfast. Um, uh, mm -hmm. We had this as um, our uh, basic of this uh, pillar and it's quite a hard in a company with so many people so different, in different level in different countries and uh, different backgrounds to find a question that is provoking and interesting enough to start a discussion but it's not too hard um, to uh, give people the feeling that this is just m more than they can take. Um, so that was finding those questions was actually a very hard part. Yeah. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But I think you did quite well because um, people then discussed is trust more important or is it yeah. more a speak up yeah. culture? And yeah. I think they are conflicting views of the same thing or styles of leadership. <laughs> and I think the discussions are very interesting and many, many people yeah. participated. Yeah. And I, I think there would have be almost the same discussion in every uh, company because what came really, um, what we, you could really see that um, the topics that um, drive people in all positions in all countries are quite the same. No? They all talk about is it uh, the cultural transformation and what does it take um, to um, speed up because we need to transform and everybody is clear about this and um, that was quite interesting. Um, there was we had no results that really were um, very unexpected. Mm -hmm. I would say, but um, mm. we had interesting questions and interesting discussions. And um, I can maybe um, switch to to the to feedback slides. Um, at the end, we, we ask, um, was there um, was a good invest of your time? Um, because leaders do not have that many time and um, that the result is not perfect, but I think in Corona time, and we had this in uh, event in October, November, what was a, a hard time for the company, many changes. So I think the, the feedback was uh, quite good. And we had uh, very good um, um, discussions um, in here. And um, I think we will keep uh, from it like this um, going and we'll we, uh, use it again. And what we've learned is um, you can use community. I call it community on a short notice. I'm, I'm not sure if this is um, the right um, um, the right sentence, but um, usually a community is a different thing. It works for a longer time and it's more open and um, we, we kind of used it as a format for programs, so what this really has a very, um, um, it's a very yeah, fixed program, it's not so open. But still we have made very positive experience with this and um, very positive to use the social learning and the platform for a real learning event. Um, what did not um, um, has been used before, and um, I think it was we had quite a good uh, result um, on this. 
um, because our uh, leaders are not so much used to working in a format like this. And uh, it was very good to use a system that's already in use in company. Uh, so people don't have to go on a different platform. And um, and our learning was this online discussions of cultural aspect is not easy. And it's not easy to uh, deliver the right questions and um, to find the right content and to find the right questions. But it's possible and you can talk about uh, soft uh, effects um, on the program like this. I think the, so if I may comment, but anyone can yeah. ask. Uh, uh, the last aspect is very interesting because I heard it, I think a couple of weeks ago, uh, Sasha Lobo, he has a mm -hmm. podcast yeah. about comments in his under his column in, in Spiegel Online, and he concluded this podcast. He wanted to terminate it, and one of his conclusions was um, when people are sure that their comments will be read and uh, somehow appreciated with feedback, the quality increases. The, yeah. the quality of discussions, of com comments increases. And I, I think I might uh, interpret it wrong, but I think that uh, confirms a little bit what you write down here in the last um, bullet point. Yeah. We had very high quality comments, actually. Uh, maybe due to you can see um, the the profile of every person because the names on it, and you're not uh, you're not writing anonymous in in our social internet. Um, so we had no trolls in there, and um, but the quality was uh, pretty high in, in this. Mm -hmm. Because you created the framework for it, so mm -hmm. it's really uh, your. Uh, your success, I think. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> but it's uh, it's uh, it's a task for community manager to create yeah. that environment. Of course, yes. uh, there can be different kinds of members and some might be more inclined to uh, mm -hmm. have a, a positive discussion style. But it's also, I think, uh, a task, a mission of the community manager. Yeah. But we were actually, we had the positive surprise and I think uh, we could not, at the end, we could not deliver this to 30,000 uh, people because uh, the company is in a very great transformation at the moment and um, we had to uh, shorten um, our uh, target group, but still um, it was a very good experience and I would um, recommend this uh, format for uh, learning um, departments because um, you don't you don't have to use only e-learning and um, Skype session. You can use uh, social learning um, as well. And the community learning is a very effective tool. Mm -hmm. 